I'll wait to see your golden smile. Feel of a thousand kisses. Oh, please stay a while. I'll reach up to hold your sunlit face. Feels like a handful of silk now. I'm in your warm embrace. Happy Republic Day in Turkey, October 29th. We're at the Saturday market here in Finike eating lunch. Mine is egg and cheese. Donovan got spinach. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I haven't tried mine yet. It's too hot to taste. But today is Republic Day, so we should have lots of festivities and uh, potentially some fireworks and things. It was pretty loud last night. They had some music downtown we could hear on the boat, but we didn't leave the boat, so we're not sure what exactly happened. So they're having a big party tonight, and they've been testing the microphones and the music this afternoon, and we shall see what happens this evening. Big parade coming. <laughs> Donovan's first shave done by a professional. A frigid morning but we got our coffee beautiful sunrise oh I twisted my ankle getting off the bed this morning <laughs> oh that's pretty let's take a picture of that off he goes to the chandlery work has begun he's taking apart the solar panel bracket whatever it's called because the bolts are all rusted. So he's gonna go get some stainless steel bolts at the chandlery. And I'm working on videos. And this is not a bad workspace to be in. Okay, we need to reupholster these couches because we're getting way thicker pillows because these are really skinny and they hurt our ass. So um, the pillows are all new except for that orange one. So we're trying to go off of those colors. We're trying to go off of the brown colors back here cream colors everywhere. We've got grayish brown over here. We've got grayish 
gray here. The yellow lights are making it look a little bit beige. But so those are the current colors and we've got this light wood. And so here are our choices. Now we've narrowed it down to either one of these two or which one did we say? One of these two? This one of these two? One of these two. And this one has like a shiny, I don't know what it is, but it's got like a sh like shiny thread or something that comes out. That's... Show, the, show the, the, the actual. Oh, and then the armrests have like pleather that's kind of a cream colored. Oof, we need they, to clean that. Whoa. That is what the cushions were. The yeah, the was. cushions, That the whole couch was that pleather. And they reupholstered them because they had cats. So this upholstery is new. It's only a couple of months old. But it's the most uncomfortable couch ever. So, but anyway. So that's where we're at with this. And we're also trying to get estimates on blinds or curtains or something to put shades so that we can have privacy. Not the greatest view, but we will have much, much better views once we get things in order with our documentation of the boat. And we can legally take it out with our transit log will have breathtaking views, so I'm not complaining. And I will still take this view over a cubicle <laughs> in an office any day, honestly. So that's kind of where we're at with what's going on today. Blinds, getting some sort of estimate for that, for the couch, and oh yeah, this hideous uh, mosquito netting that is ripping apart. I like the clothes pins that I have at the bottom. It adds a little pizzazz. So. We're getting an estimate for that as well. We got our netting situation worked out though, so Zoe's not going down the, the stairs anymore. So that's good. So I guess we will definitely have to reupholster the couch because because even this one thinks that the cushions are too hard. So she's elected to move on to the <laughs> pillow. <laughs> so these are like the greenies, huh? Those are going to be a, a replacement for her greenies, yeah, because we don't have greenies here in Turkey, unfortunately. So, let's... We are running out of her Chewy.com stuff and having to try out new brands and flavors from Turkey. Tonight's dinner consists of meatballs with tomato sauce and yogurt sauce, though I'm not sure which one's the yogurt sauce. And rice instead of pasta, since Donovan can't eat pasta. And chicken schnitzel salad and french fries. And our favorite uh, homemade or restaurant made potato chips with yogurt sauce. Mm. This will be Zoe's boat toilet. <laughs> We're going to cut it up into little pieces. Into probably two or three different sections for the boat so that she can get trained for long passages when we can't find land. <clears throat> Just hanging out. <laughs> this is called Bauhaus. It's, I guess the Home Depot of Germany and Donovan's in heaven right now. Hey, is this your favorite place in the world? <laughs> Are you a happy man? <laughs> and we ordered your stupid drill online. You got a Woody. <laughs> oh my God, this is heaven for him. We are not getting out of here cheap. Oh my God. Donovan's about to insulate the whole stupid boat, I think. <laughs> it's all of that insulation. Oh, he's got some jugs. We're not really exactly sure what we're eating. We just pointed to a picture on the menu because we're not sure what this is either. We thought it was crushed olives, but it doesn't taste like olives at all. We have made it to the entrance of the marina, but usually when we come in, we're on the boat. So this time we walked it. We're in that aisle right there. The aisle. And there's the gas station. And this is actually a cute little pier. It's got a couple of little cafes and it's pretty nice. And there's the mountains and a bunch of fishing people. Cute little town.
bread maker has started doing its noise. Doesn't seem to bother her too much. So let's keep going with this rice pudding. All right, so the translation says, add 750 ml, three and a half cups of milk to a pot with the something something transverse bag. I don't know what that means. Donovan is building us a shelf to put over all of our containers, our dry storage containers over here. We're back to hearing the F word and all the other words that we use when we build things. But by golly, it's gonna be perfect. Don't mind all our clothes, we did laundry today. Looks very nice. Let's see how it looks. There's another boat owner, a Helio owner, I think on Facebook that we're copying off of. So that's going to be attached to that metal thing right there. Either attached to it or just double-sided tape it. Looks good. God, Zoe woke us up at the crack of dawn because the thunder was scaring the hell out of her. She was shaking like a leaf. It was like the entire bed was vibrating. It was still pitch black at 6.45 in the morning, and now it's not even 6 in the afternoon, and it's almost dark again. I'm sitting here eating my vegetable salad of the week. This one has apples, tomatoes, cucumber, red onion, carrots, salt, pepper, and lime juice. Donovan's making a shelf for over here. That's going to go over all of these things. We're trying to figure out mini blinds on the windows still because the sizes are all awkward. She's hard at work as usual. Claudine's first boat project. This uh, duvet keeps, or the, the inside part keeps sliding down and sliding down. So I wanna hook something at the top over there and over there. I got six buttons to put up there so it doesn't keep sliding down, but I have no idea what I'm doing. So I bought this sewing kit at the store yesterday, little realizing that it's all like super cheap plastic. Like <laughs> these scissors <laughs> probably won't cut anything. I have no idea what I'm doing. I didn't really think this through, I don't think. I could use some help. So I think the plan is, I need to figure out how to put this on one side so that this can loop through. Let's try out these scissors and see how they work. <laughs> they don't cut at all. <laughs> they don't cut at all. This is, the biggest waste of money ever. The biggest waste of a dollar fifty. All right, so we'll try this again. So I need to remember how to use one of these. I haven't used one since a really long time. So I think I'll put it through here. Put it through here, and then I think this goes through the hole. Ooh, that's tiny. And then how do I fish it out? No, that's not right. How do I get it into this stupid hole? I can't see anything. Ah, I think I got it. I think. I'm gonna put it through this thing first. And then I'm gonna put this through. Lord. This might take a while. Okay, now if I take the needle out. Ta da! There it is. I don't know how many knots you should put, but we'll try two. One down, the 11 to go. Okay, I got one button done. Let's see how that looks. That just doesn't look right. I think I'd be better off just not using buttons and using string. 
I gave up on the buttons because the buttons are not looking right. So instead, we're doing a knot. <laughs> this is way more tedious than I really wanted it to be. I was not meant to do this for a living. I'm not any good at it. I can't even tie these stupid knots. While I'm working on my sewing project downstairs, Donovan is trying to put insulation around this fridge. But he took all the screws out. Did you figure out how to take it out? So all the screws are out, but it won't slide out? It's silicone. They got silicone back. Is it silicone? Right there. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun for you. How many F-bombs have you dropped already? No. None yet? No. Good boy. You're fucking losing. <laughs> the number one right there. Well, my first sewing project. We've got a butt here. <laughs> and this one is shorter than this one, so it's kind of loose here. But we've got a knot here. We've got a knot here. And we've got a knot here. So now we're gonna flip it inside out or outside in or whatever it's called and make the bed. See what happens. <laughs> earth to sew. We're doing this fridge for the insulation because the other one would not come out. It's stuck in there. So we got this piece of insulation on already. Now we need to make sure that this thing fits back into this hole. And electrical wire. We're taking all the plastic off? Just on the side because I don't that stuff, I don't want it to uh, have any air in there. Has anybody done the insulation on this fridge? Show that little hose. That little hose is dripping onto the floor, getting it all wet. And in here, there's no tray or anything. It's just electrical wiring. When we pulled it out, we noticed it was dripping down onto the floor. Surely they were not just letting it drain onto this uh, plastic wood stuff. asking about the millions of dogs and cats this is what they have all over the place they have food they have water dishes you can donate and then people take them to the uh, to the vet and get their god why can't i think today if <laughs> they get them fixed while i'm cooking the best looking omelet in turkey and somebody's waiting for me to drop something donovan is making a tool he's actually making a tool because we need something to take off the top of the, um, what's it called again? The filter thing? Drainer. Drainer. Strainer. Some sort of strainer for the engine. And it needs its own tool to get the top of it. If you use the wrong tool or you crank it too hard, like he did with that, then the plastic breaks. And then air goes in. And no air can go in. So he's making the tool to get it open. Let's test it. Look, show it. It looks like a ping pong paddle on steroids. And it's full of wood. That's good. Okay. Let's see how it works. Your ping pong paddle. As it will be called. Right on that one. It's good there. 
there. It's good there. It's just, it's just that one. So you need this thing back again? Yep. You probably should bring down that thing so you don't trip. There's so many tripping hazards now and you've got tools and you've got, you just wait, an accident waiting to happen. Oh, and we also, we've also done laundry today. And I'm washing sheets right now. I'm feeling very accomplished. I'm also looking for what I want to do with my life. <laughs> as far as a job, because I need to do something. I'm going to go nuts if I don't do something. Especially right now that we're on a waiting period with the documentation for the boat. The latest news is that the unregistration of the Australian register is done. So it is officially not an Australian boat anymore. And it was shipped to the United States. And the bill of sale has been shipped to the United States to go to the U.S. Coast Guard to register the boat. But they haven't received it yet in the United States. And it left Turkey on October 27th. And we're now November like 10th or 12th. I don't even know what day it is but it's like in somewhere in November. Let's see if it fits now. So long story short, we cannot get our transit log until it's registered in the US. And if we can't get our transit log, we really should not be sailing it because you can't sail it without a transit log. So that's where we're at. We're stuck here. So I might as well, whoops, does it fit now? It's close, it's just uh, your shoe? I got a foot cramp. It wouldn't move. And here we go again. Is the, is the food ready? Yes, please Oops. be careful. Go ahead and make it. It's already ready to go. Anyway, as I was saying, yes, we can't go anywhere. We can't move the boat without the transit log. So to get a job so I can keep myself busy and not go completely nuts. Oh, wait, we're testing it one more time before we eat. Now if we can get in there and see if we can pull on it. You said it was a tight space. It's just an awkward space. It's not tight. There's a ton of room in there. And you're skinny. Imagine the people that do the engine work that are like not skinny. Let's see. Taking the C strainer out, so I Which can... connects to the Volvo Penta motor. Well, this this is what goes through the engine. Oh, it smells gross. It does smell gross. I'm taking this out so I can clean it. Because it's part of the monthly maintenance. It should be, but gross. All right, you want to eat before you get I'll grossed up by all that? Or do you want me to just put a plate over it and keep it warm? I'm ready to eat. I gotta I gotta take this salt water out anyway in there, so. It's, it's not going to kick on because, yeah, that thing's dirty. All right. We're trying to work through our Excel sheet of maintenance stuff, monthly maintenance stuff since we've been here a month. It comes to the table automatically. It's a huge piece of bread, but it's tricky because when you, it's. I was gonna take a picture of this, but I would need to put my camera on pano. <laughs> rather large, what you said. So we've got just a little pizza. And we've got some sort of a cheese thing that looks really, really hot. God, that scared the shit out of me. Motorcycles drive on sidewalks oh, here, by the way. It's good. What is it like? Uh, that's pistachio like powder. Honey. So it's honey and it's like a cheese. That's cheese on the top. It's drizzled. It looks amazing, and I don't like honey, so I'm a butter. little nervous. I think it's honey. It could just be butter. Oh my god! 
<laughs> what is it? That's so good. I'm not sure if we're supposed to squeeze the lemon on it. Try. No, just put it on yours then. I like lemon in all my food, but not on my desserts. Even in the restaurants, <laughs> we get cats. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, not on the table. Sure do look comfy.